So we scored it. No! Here it is. Toilet paper. That's right. We got two 12 packs of toilet paper. Hope you're getting your supplies you need. I hope you're safe. Let's go. And here we go. Yeah, I am. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Okay, happy Sunday. Today is, what, March 14th or 15th? Same difference, it's Sunday. And we went out again. It's close to lunchtime. I started out around 11 a.m. That's a little late, because everyone's out shopping. I went to a Mexican supermarket called El Guero. It's a large supermarket chain. They had no toilet paper. They had a couple rolls of paper towels. Then I went back to the Dollar, the, uh, Dollar Tree store to see what they had. And they had about the same stuff as before. So I got some uh, toothpaste just to make sure we had some. Roll of paper towels. I got... Uh, a cheap $1 liquid laundry detergent soap, which we'll go through that quick because it's that cheap stuff is not very powerful. Here's what I got. Some paper towels, toothpaste, and cheap laundry detergent. This is a not buy, don't buy, this is a mistake. This is super liquidy, super cheap, um, not even worth a dollar. If this was on sale for 50 cents, maybe I'd get it. But this is a bad buy, just so you know. I got uh, some body wash for the boys. I got two stinky teenagers at home. They need to take showers, they gotta clean their body. So before that kind of stuff is gone, I got one thing of that. Then I went to a convenience store, a small, it's called Sunrise Food Market, convenience store. No toilet paper. They have some paper towels, but I was able to find corn. I got two cans of corn. Here it is. The La Profita whole corn. It's elote. And uh, these were $1.09 a piece. I usually get the Walmart or I get the Kroger 59 cent uh, cans of corn, but they were gone. So here it is. We scored two of those. Paid a dollar a piece for it. That's fine. It is what it is. Then what I got is then I went back to uh, the Menards Home Improvement Store, which again is like a Lowe's. It's like a, a Home Depot. I was able to get a um, jar of, there's no pizza. What they sell there, they have a frozen food section. No pizzas. They had no milk. They were running out on cheese. Half the snacks were gone. They have cases of pop called Shasta. Or shall I say soda, wherever you're from. That was uh, all wiped out. They had some well, I will say at the dollar store, they have plenty of three liters. They sell big three liters of pop. I'm not worried about pop. Juice and water is essential. Not worried about pop. Um, but Menards, uh, they had only three, three value size large tubs, uh, large containers of laundry soap. So I got one of those. Um, I got along with the teriyaki stuff for the chicken. Plenty of chicken we're eating lately. So here it is. Um, we got this at Menards. The famous Dave's teriyaki marinade. Uh, they only had like maybe two of these left and I didn't want to wait another half an hour to go to another store just to get one thing. So we got this there. And then a little product review, bad buy. 
This was like $2.40. Cheap enough, I guess. But it didn't taste good at, down, at all. It tasted like kind of watered down or slightly spicy ketchup. You're better off going with a Kroger dollar. It costs like one dollar for their off-brand teriyaki marinade or P.F. Chang's, which is about three dollars. Um, when we went to the store yesterday, meaning Monday, Logan and I, my 17-year-old uh, teenager, we picked up both of those. So this ain't going to get used. Bad buy. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. What else did I get? Uh, some fruit roll-ups for the kids. They had only about five boxes of those, different styles. So I grabbed one. And uh, actually, I grabbed the last. They have fruit by the foot. I had they only had one box, so I grabbed one of those. They didn't. I didn't. They had absolutely no paper towels. They had one tiny two package roll of blue shop towels. I'm not getting that. They had no paper towels at the local Menards. Now that's one of two stores. There's two. One on one end of town, and one on the other. So I stopped there. I have some supplies for cleaning our bodies, our teeth, our clothes, an extra roll of toilet paper to keep that supply up. And uh, we're trying our best to stay supplied here, folks. Get out there, try your best, go to different stores. Don't be discouraged, keep trying. I know it's crazy, I know it, but uh, you gotta get those supplies before they're gone. And who knows how quickly these stores are going to stock it up. Relax. You're going to make it through this. We're going to make it through this. Well, good day, Gothamites. Uh, today is Tuesday, Super Tuesday in Illinois, March 17th. And uh, we're out. I'm out in public. Nice. I'm only going outside for a short while. I have some eBay orders that I shipped out. And we stopped in at the Dollar General Store to get a few supplies. I'll show you those in a few minutes. But uh, behind me is a local VFW, and that's where I do your voting today. So I'm um, trying to do my civic duty, get out there and uh, help our candidates. So uh, stay safe, get your supplies, stay healthy, hug your loved ones. I'll see you in a minute. So like I said uh, earlier today, uh, we voted. So we went out, and I had some uh, eBay items to ship out. We got those out. And uh, those who ordered, thank you for your order. And then I said, I have a couple dollars left in the bank. So we went to the dollar store, and um, we scored just some basic items. Where did I put them all? Here they are. So for a dollar, we got these Nutter Butters. Um, I know it's not essential, but it's a little something sweet to keep you going. And then some cheap fudge-striped cookies, okay? So we'll ration those out a little bit and, and eat them whenever we have chance. Now, when we went to Walmart on Friday night into Saturday morning, uh, they had a run on mac and cheese. I got three boxes of Velveeta mac and cheese. We used one already. Um, so that's one in four days, okay? Not bad. Because today's Tuesday. Uh, March 17th and then I was able to find a couple of these at the dollar store so we got some mac and cheese and then for some medicine um, I generally have um, from time to time gas like anyone else does it usually comes from eating salad lettuce cucumbers uh, stuff like that for some reason it gives me gas in the chest and burps that's the kind of gas so we had some gas relief always good to stock up on some medicines if you can find it some basic aspirin, acetaminophen. You're gonna have headaches, you're gonna be stressed out. Um, that'll help you from work. If you're going to work and coming home, that'll keep you healthy. Um, what's next is that I found over the past couple days that we're using um, more than what I expected of dishwashing fluid, dishwashing liquid detergent. So we got uh, some of this. Now this is the dollar store, it's the family dollar, or dollar tree what have you. Um, they have this, it's called the Awesome Ultra, this is all a dollar, and some of the detergents and liquids you could find at the Dollar Tree are real cheap, real real liquidy, real watery. 
uh, whether it's a laundry detergent or soap like this. This is the best brand they have. It's thicker, um, smells good, gives a good lather, washes the dishes okay. So for a dollar, stretch your dollar, stretch your money, go get the dishwashing liquid because the uh, automatic detergent tabs for your dishwashing machines might be a little bit more expensive. I have a, a, a whole one like this, about half full, plus this. This will do us fine for a week, maybe two weeks. Um, if not, I'll try and go out and get more. And then lastly, we got some to keep our oral hygiene. You know, part of your internal body health comes from brushing your teeth and having a clean mouth. We got some um, mouthwash. Um, so I got that because we already got a brand new tube of toothpaste and we already have like two half tubes. So keeping a clean health, your mouth, um, that's important. Uh, we already have some cough and cold medicine in the house. Um, I'll probably go out later and get some of that. We have some vitamins. Um, we went out on Sunday when I went and got scored that paper towel. I'm sorry, the toilet paper. I also scored a couple of frozen pizzas and some milk. Uh, yesterday, me and my son went out and we got some milk. Um, it was limit two. We got two gallons of milk. They're in the freezer. I already have a full gallon. And uh, we got some other supplies. So I think, personally, we're good for two to three solid weeks if we watch our consumption. Well, Gothamites friends, we're going to wrap it up right there. Thank you for watching the vlog. Stay positive, hug your loved ones, enjoy some time with your family, friends, loved ones, neighbors. View this time as an opportunity to spend more time with family and appreciate the time you have together. We're all going to get through this. Stay safe, Gothamites. If you can, as always, uh, we love your support. By hitting a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Come back to our next videos. Stay safe, Gothamites. We'll see you next time.